right, so here's Michael Benham Page, shiny pro record, more than 20 wins, just a couple of pro losses. This man is exceedingly hard to put away. He's made a career of putting the opposition away. This was one of the more highly touted free agents in all of mixed martial arts. We we're very happy to have Michael Benham Page here in the UFC, but no rest for the weary, right? You knew that when they signed MVP, and if they were able to do so, they were gonna be giving him tough challenges right out of the shoot, and that is precisely what is in front of Michael Benham Page here tonight. But a lot of people believe, even though MVP did not sign with the UFC until his late 30s, there is still plenty of fight left in this dunk. highly touted a prospect as there is in mixed martial arts at present. Enter the undefeated future Ian Machado Garrett. Cardio is his best weapon. He hasn't even had to use it necessarily in realizing all of this UFC success thus far. Tremendous long range weapons, underrated in the clinch, underrated as a grappler, but I guess for me, it's the appetite for knowledge that really jumps out of the fighter meeting. This man has traveled the world in search of different mixed martial arts skills and now training under the watchful eye of Diego Lima at Shootbox in Brazil. We'll see if Ian Machado Garrett can take his career to that requisite next level here tonight. With that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Michael Payne. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the future. There's Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, here we go with round one, featuring one of the best recent welterweight side moves, Michael Venom Page. And for an athlete like this, he would not have enjoyed his retirement nearly as much if he didn't try to chase a few wins in the UFC. This will always be the greatest proving ground in all of mixed martial arts. And MVP, Michael Venom Page, out to prove that his game will absolutely translate at the highest level of the sport. Beautifully timed and placed front kick there by the kickboxer, and that's going to allow him, I would think, to really maintain this range against the overall more well-rounded fight. I mean, yeah, he's in there with a guy that would seem to have more ways to win the fight, but if he stays at range here, kicking range, he's the best at that. So he needs to continue on this path, continue to throw those kicks straight at him and dart at him, poke at him to keep him at space so that he can fight his fight. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. You gotta dig deep here. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Let's go. Keep moving. Nice leg kick. Oh, roundhouse kick. Leg kick now. He's starting to pile those up. Look at the stats. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, 
that will finish the fight. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Job defensively there to block the strike by Machado Gary. Fast leg kick lands. Oh, beautifully placed with the lead left hand. Under a minute now to go. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Shadow Gary gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. Targeting the body with the kick now. Five minutes in the books. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready? You ready? Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. His opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. All right, so an opportunity goes by the board to have him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Under two minutes to go here in our second round. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. lands again. He has used that strike to great effect all night. I mean, he has a great ability to find that shot. He does it really, really well, and he lands once again. Straight right, he misses. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. 
because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to do. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Ten right. minutes Stop. in the can. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Visibly limping here. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh! He's hurt. He wobbles. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Gary. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Oh, that's the biggest shot in the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, this could just about do it. Good stick. Big elbow there, Lance. He's got to hurt him. got to start looking to finish. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Oh. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, and what a five minutes it was for him. Rocked and stunned his opponent multiple times, and I don't know, did his opponent just say uncle on the stool, or is he going to fight on? I mean, he may say uncle. When you're getting beat and battered and bruised like that, it's a testament to your toughness, but it's not ideal. You want to be competitive. That round was not competitive at all. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over Ready. to the head. Eventually, he found the one that really did damage 
his opponent. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, I can't think of a worse place in the world to be when you are tired than the world-famous Octagon. We got two fighters. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Gary. Well, earlier... Oh, massive, massive hook lands. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, nice body shot. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Oh, and there it is. The hook lands again. You saw that one coming from a mile away. And the openings have been there all night. Closed it there. It's under oh, Man, this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight-ending intentions. Oh, big left hook there. Nice block. Under 30 seconds. Twenty seconds to go. Straight right hand, no good. Ah. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. So there is the horn standing ovation from this capacity crowd. Near knockouts by both fighters. Probably the best round we've seen thus far this year. Oh man, this is the best round of fighting that I have seen for a very long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go 10 minutes straight. Pride rules. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get Green him back fight. together before Green. he started the next round. Green. It is the fifth and final round. Solid kick right there. Lance the low kick. Body kick now by Machado Garrett. Back and forth we go. Now lands a kick to the body. him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Page. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Hey, Ian Machado. Oh, oh, he's got to try to finish here. Oh, not a fan sitting down. advantage. 
Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other decision. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this would be very competitive. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. 30 seconds in the round. Big knee there. Final seconds of the fight. Well, what a title fight it was. What a showcase it was for this division. But at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you got to think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the future. All right, so another one bites the dust. Another challenger goes by the wayside. Congratulations to the still undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. There he is. Hard 25 minutes fought here tonight, but he goes out the way he came in, undisputed as the king of the 170s in the UFC.